Hey everybody, Drillin' in the name of here, and you've probably noticed I'm not in my usual spot. However, as a bartender by trade, this is actually my natural habitat. Though I have gotten used to my desk. Much better. Anyway, for today's video, I decided instead of dunking on the CRISPR or complaining about how the bots pissed me off, I'll use my real life skills to teach you how to make a Deep Rock themed cocktail. Now this has already been done in a few great videos by some bad engineer and silly goose content, which I'll link to below, and I really didn't want to step on their toes too much. I was trying to come up with my own twist, and then I realized many of you probably aren't even of age or just simply choose not to imbibe. So today we are making a tribute to everybody's least favorite Deep Rock beer, which I'm calling the Leaf Lover's Fizz. We're right in the middle of sober October and mocktails are all the rage right now. And there's nothing wrong with shaking something up that won't give you a buzz or a hangover. Let's go over what we'll need. For starters, if we're truly gonna be leaf lovers, we're gonna need a leaf. Pandan is a tropical plant that grows predominantly in South and Southeast Asia, and its leaves are often used to make an extract similar to vanilla extract. Unfortunately, pandan doesn't exactly grow where I live, so we're gonna be using artificial pandan extract. You should be able to find this on the shelf at an Asian market, but Amazon does sell this if you're not able to find it locally. We're gonna use this to make pandan syrup, which is incredibly simple. Just add one cup of water and one cup of white granulated sugar to a saucepan over medium heat. Stir until the sugar is completely dissolved, then add one teaspoon of our pandan extract. Stir until that is incorporated, then set aside to cool. Next, we're gonna add some lime juice to balance out the sweetness of our pandan syrup. Please, please, please do yourself a favor and use fresh lime juice. Do not use these. I get it, they're cheap, they're convenient, they're packaged in the shape of the thing that they are, which is funny I guess, but this stuff is so acidic and it will completely ruin your drink. One large ripe lime should get you about two ounces of lime juice, which is enough to make two leaf lovers fizzes, so do that. Next we need something to make this a refreshing beverage to have after a long day of mining, so we're going to add pineapple juice. Just like lime juice, there's a night and day difference between fresh pineapple juice and canned pineapple juice. Now if you don't have a juicer or just don't feel like going to the trouble, look for cold pressed pineapple juice at your local juicer or grocery store. Trader Joe's actually sells cold pressed pineapple juice which is a perfectly fine substitute. Next we're going to add some protein to keep us going strong when fighting off glyphids down on Hoxus, so we're going to add the whites of one egg. And I promise this is normal and not weird. This is actually a technique that dates all the way back to the early 1800s. Egg whites add a light airy feel and a nice foam to your cocktail. But if you happen to be vegan or just don't like the thought of drinking eggs, you can substitute an ounce of aquafaba, which is the liquid from a can of garbanzo beans. This magic liquid will emulsify the same way egg white will. You just have to figure out something to do with the chickpeas after. And lastly, we're gonna top this off with some soda water to add the fizz to our leaf lover's fizz. Now that we have all our ingredients, let's start building. So the recipe is gonna be two ounces of pineapple juice, one ounce of our pandan syrup, one ounce of lime juice, and one egg white. Now if you don't have a jigger to measure your pours, you can use a tablespoon instead. One tablespoon is equal to half an ounce, so you can use these conversions for our recipe. Now with an egg white drink, you're gonna to wanna to crack your egg first, just in case you get some shell on the tin or you crack the yolk. Now we can add our liquids. So we'll pour two ounces of our pineapple juice, one ounce of our pandan syrup, and then one ounce of our fresh lime juice. Now with an egg white drink, they're actually twice the work because you have to do what's called a dry shake as well as your shake with ice. The dry shake is what emulsifies the egg white and aerates the drink. A dry shake is typically done with no ice at all, but I like to add one small ice cube because in my experience, it just helps keep the tin sealed. You'll want to listen for the egg white to shear and for the ice cube to break down until you can't hear it anymore. For a traditional Ramos Gin Fizz, some purists will say that you should dry shake for up to 15 minutes, but that's absurd and way too much work. I'm getting old, and even a dry shake has become more work than I care to do, so I invented something that I call the Shakenator. For me, I just need to load my drink into the Shakenator tin. I'm gonna add one small ice cube. Load this back into the Shakenator. And pull the trigger. Then I'm gonna pour this back into my regular tin. 
Now that our dry shake is complete, add some ice. And rock those stones for about 10 to 15 seconds. Then we're going to strain this into a tall glass. Then slowly top with soda water to add our fizz. And now your leaf lover's fizz is complete. Enjoy it. Now this may all seem like a lot if you're not familiar with these techniques, but I promise it's all much easier than it looks. However, if you just want to simplify the recipe, there's a few things you can do. For one, you can certainly skip the egg white altogether. Pineapple juice is pretty foamy on its own, so you could shake this same recipe without the egg white and strain it into a coupe glass. If you don't have a tin, there are a couple options for you as well. An insulated coffee mug will work in a pinch, just make very sure that you close the cover and hold onto the lid very tightly with both hands. And if you want to try it with egg whites but aren't too sure about the dry shaking aspect, you can actually use a blender instead. Pour this exact same recipe into your blender with one ice cube and blend it until it froths up and the ice cube has completely dissolved. Lastly, if you're of age where you're watching and feel like spiking your leaf lover's fizz, simply subtract half an ounce from each of these ingredients and add one and a half ounces of your spirit of choice. For this, I would recommend vodka, gin, blanco tequila, or a white rum. Well, that's gonna do it for today. Obviously, this is much different from my regular content, but as a bartender, I really enjoy making this type of video. I already have a lot of ideas for more Abyss Bar cocktails, so let me know in the comments if that's something you'd like to see. And if you happen to make this for yourself, please let me know what you think down below. And however you choose to enjoy, please enjoy responsibly. And as always, rock and stone, brothers and sisters.